Have you ever noticed that right before holidays like Christmas, Easter, and days like Valentine's Day, Amazon really, really pushes related children's books, having them pop up all over our search results. So I decided to dig a little deeper to see if children's books about holidays is something we should consider as well. Is it worth it? Hint, it just might be. Hi there, I'm Evie, an award-winning children's author and ghostwriter over on eviejones.com and the creator of Children's Book University. And in this video, I'm going to share with you whether or not we should be writing children's books about holidays and how to determine if we should be writing children's books about holidays, when we should start writing our children's book about specific holidays, when we should publish our holiday books, and what our title should be for our children's book about holidays. That's a lot of holidays in there. Last night I was looking for some sweet Valentine's Day presents for my two little guys. But as I was searching through Amazon, I noticed that a substantial number of Valentine's Day related book suggestions kept popping up. Especially these right here caught my attention and I may or may not have purchased one of these. So with these books all over, I couldn't help but wonder, should we be writing children's books about holidays? Many of my readers and students already have like these beautiful masterpieces right here. I love sharing them so you may have already seen those in one of my articles over on my blog. Now, if you have watched my three part find your story idea videos where I walk you through how to find your very own children's book idea, then you know that I am a big advocate of doing our due diligence before diving into the writing of a children's book. If you haven't, I went ahead and linked to that video series below. And because I had so many children's books about Valentine's Day pop up all over my Amazon search results, I decided to dig a little deeper. Whenever I'm digging deeper to see whether or not a book could be profitable, I do so in two different ways. I can do it the manual way and I can do it the automated way. And I will show you both. So let's dive right in. For this particular video, I'm going to focus on Valentine's Day, but don't worry, you will be able to take any book about any holiday through the same process I'm going to share with you right now. Now, the first method I mentioned was to determine manually if I should be writing a Valentine's Day book. And for that, I would hop over to Amazon. Since I sell most of my books on Amazon, I generally also do my research on Amazon. So the first thing I will want to do is to find some of the Valentine's Day books that I think might be selling well. Usually Amazon's orange bestseller banner is a great indicator that an item is selling well, like this one right here. Once I have found such a book, I click on it and scroll all the way to its product details section to find its bestseller rank, which is the number that indicates the book's current position amongst all of the books or ebooks offered on Amazon. So this book's bestseller rank right here is number 26 in books, which is incredible. The lower the number, the more a book is selling. But to determine or estimate how many copies this book is currently selling, Selling. I love using a tool called the Amazon Sales Rank Calculator, which is an amazing and free tool over on Kindlepreneur, and I'll be sure to link to it below. Since I'm looking at the book and not the ebook version of this fun Valentine's Day book, I first need to make sure the calculator is switched to the book position. Then I'm entering the book's bestseller rank that we found above, which was 26. Now, a little very important side note right here is that Amazon updates these bestseller rankings hourly. So the number I am seeing now won't be the same you're seeing at a later point in time. So keep that in mind, okay? So according to this calculator that I took a screenshot of, this Valentine's Day book currently sells 634 books per day. And that's the paperback version only. I am sure it also sells ebooks, but those aren't included in this number. To put this in monetary terms, we can now simply multiply the 634 books by the book's sales price, which currently is $11.12, which would be over $7,000. Now, before we get too excited, I want to point out three very, very important things that most new or aspiring authors don't realize. So fact number one is because Amazon updates its ranking hourly, these numbers are only an estimate. Fact number two is 
the daily sales in dollars is not the dollar amount that goes into the author's pocket. This is simply the total dollar amount paid to Amazon by its customers. Amazon, of course, will still have to deduct all the printing costs. So the royalties are not the number that you see on the screen right here. And fact number three is to please remember that these books are seasonal and won't sell like this year round. Usually a holiday specific book sells well for about one to two months per year and will make very little during the other months of the year, right? So be sure to take this into consideration as well before making your final decision on whether or not to write children's books about holidays. Now, of course, this is just one single example. We will want to repeat this checking process for at least five to 10 other books with the same holiday theme. Here, I usually try to stay away from books written by big name authors or any well-known children's book series. And that's because I am more interested in how many books authors like us could potentially be selling. Now, as I already mentioned earlier, I'm now also going to share with you a much easier and quicker way on how to determine whether or not you should be writing a children's book about holidays. So the first way was more or less the manual way, right? And now I'm going to show you how you can use a tool to make this easier. So when doing this type of research, I always use a tool called Publisher Rocket. It's a tool I've been using for years and also wrote a separate article on how I use it before I start writing a new children's book, how I use it during the writing process, and how I use the tool after I have already published my children's book. So this tool is super versatile, and I will try to make a separate video on that as well. So to see how well this Valentine's Day book is doing, I am using Publisher Rocket's competition analyzer feature, where I simply enter the book's title and hit the go get them rocket. And that's a screenshot of the results. As you can see, Publisher Rocket does all the calculations for us and returns a bunch of additional information as well. So researching five to 10 more books like that will be done in no time at all. But again, be sure to remember what I already shared earlier about these numbers because they're estimates only. And because it is a seasonal book, it won't perform like this year round. Once we've made a decision on whether or not to write a children's book about a holiday, the next question we should ask ourselves is how far in advance we should do so. That is, how far in advance should we be writing our children's book so it is ready for the holiday of your choosing. So let's dive into this next. Here we want to look at two things, when to start writing a children's book and when to publish your holiday book. Okay, so within Children's Book University, many of my students complete their book within three months. You can, of course, take as little or as much time as you want and need. But if you're planning to publish your holiday specific children's book, you will want to have a timeline in mind. Let's again take a look at the product details of our Valentine's Day book example right here. Here we can see that a book that is meant for holiday in mid-February had been published at the end of November. So about two and a half months before the actual holiday. Two and a half months is the perfect amount of time to get all your ducks in a row for your book promotional wise, because this will give you ample time to collect the first few reviews for your book. So let's say you're planning to write a children's book about Christmas. Depending on how long you think it will take you to write your children's book, you can now create a timeline for yourself by working your way backwards, starting with December 25th, Christmas Day. So based on this timeline, we now know that we should start writing our children's book at the beginning of July. But notice here that I have added an additional three months to the timeline if you're currently not enrolled in Children's Book University, simply because it might take you a bit longer. But you can, of course, add more time if you need it. The important point here is that in order to be ready to publish our children's book, at a certain date, we have to start the publishing process well in advance. Planning ahead will be your best friend. But don't stop there, my friend. Once you have decided on what holiday to write about and have come up with a beautiful storyline and have completed your story, you now have to make sure you find the perfect title for your children's book. How you name your children's book is going to be very important because this is one of the main ways for people to find us on Amazon. 
right? An overwhelming majority of aspiring children's book authors or just authors in general do not know how important their title is to the success and discoverability of their book. Here we want to use keywords, keywords that will let readers know that your book indeed is about a holiday. So if you have a book about Christmas, then you want to make sure it has some kind of holiday related term in there like Christmas or Christmas tree or Santa Claus, something like that. And to help you with the creation of your perfect title for your holiday children's book, I have created the perfect title formula where I will share with you how you can find and create the best title for your book. It is absolutely free and consists of two videos. And if you have already watched them before, now is the perfect time to dive in again so you can find the perfect title for your holiday children's book. I've mostly talked about Valentine's Day, right? But there are so many other fun days to celebrate, of course. So I wanted to share just a few of the holidays that are celebrated around the world and that you could be writing your children's book about. There are, of course, many more, but hopefully these will get your creative juices flowing. Yeah, there really is no shortage on days we love to celebrate throughout the world. Now, here are some final things to consider. When it comes to writing children's books, I I would love for you to start noticing trends and patterns, things that seem to appear over and over again, because these are often a great indicator as to what is going on within the wondrous and colorful world of children's books. And whenever you discover such a pattern, ask yourself how this may be applied to or used with your own children's book. And before doing anything else, always dive deep and do your research, whether that's by hand, like I showed you before, or with a tool like Publisher Rocket, you will always want to first validate or debunk your observations. That's how we grow both our knowledge as well as our own creativity. If you found this video valuable, it would be so wonderful if you could share it with other fellow authors. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. Here's to your never ending imagination. Bye.